Fortunately, most of my stuff that I'm going to work actually implemented the way they're going to be. Guy is really good. Uh, he has too much tech time, I should say. So, after the ID, then you, of course, are just applying the stuff and then outlining what that thing What the full scope of the ID should be, what some things will not think of, design the components, which classes to have, uh, interfaces, blah, 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 things like that. And then we start with the implementation stage, where we do not write the test cases first. <coughs> what we do write first is a mock-up of the class structure, um, with all the methods. But we do not build the those methods most of the time. It's still developing, right? If they write code, they try to implement it. That is something that you really, really have to rethink yourself. Like I said, it is a religion. It needs to be in you not to do that. Uh, we are getting better at it. Definitely getting better at it. So after we have the API stuff, it also helps a little bit of, of getting a feeling with your API by writing the classes and you know, yeah, or you know how to dribble things around. So then you start writing a test case, and the test cases um, also helps you with defining the API method because if you write a test case, you get a little bit more feeling for which part you can test, and maybe you should think of reorganizing, refactoring the source code so that you can test it a bit easier. So the test case also helps you rethink your API method. So after the first test case are written, you do initial implementation. So steps two and three actually are between the line and then the iterative type. You write some test case, you implement some, you write some more test case, you implement some more. <coughs> but it's also important that at some point in your development process, um, the implementation is actually reviewed. Reviewed by all the people that are writing the code. They need to be reviewed by peers or um, an outside or uh, somebody that, met, that checks the implementation again. The requirements, the, the design, um, maybe against your code standing, code standard guidelines, things like that. All pretty important as all of you then just yourself look at your code. Um, after this point, we read alpha version. Well, after the alpha version, people are reviewing your code even more, and then you get reviewed, so you get another iterative process um, of more implementation, more review, until you're ready. And to the components itself. Now, and at some point, then most of them are done doing pre release testing where we do not just use the test case for specific components, but we're going to together as well. Because sometimes, if you run things together, you might actually discover all other problems because things are influenced in some sense from the frame to range, which you cannot imagine yourself. So, you can actually cover or find some more problems which you have right It's not a lot that we find that we do find from this. Actually, the issues are mostly with the test cases, but we are not really the test cases. So, the same thing is when you get an issue or a bug or a defect. Different developers use different terms for it. Uh, I think defect is a term preferred by IBM. We use issues or bugs or something like that. Um, so, when you get a bug report, the bug report is somewhat similar to a new feature, except the feature that was working. Way. Although over time, but it can be completed. And you have seen that in PHP, but it's not a little bit, but quite a bit of information. So, um, when you get a defect or a bug report, the first thing you should not do is implement the fix <coughs> First thing is that you should even write a test case for the bug. Usually, the bug or hopefully the bug comes to this case, test case, test to how to, re how to reproduce the problem. If not, you should re ask the submit of your bug report to, um, in, to come up with a reproduce scheme. Now, if you're in a, in a development team which is only in house, where there is no outside people using your program, then the bug report can also come from your internal team. Program. And I think that's also important to, to do. Even if you have a small development team, you're working on it, still work with an issue tracker of some sort. If you find an issue, just file it there so that you can track it. Your if that cases and your drug fixes can have links to your issues and so It's important to keep track of things that go wrong or go practical. Because you can also use any issue tracker for future research. <coughs> Okay, so after you 
looking at the drug report, you can mix them, of course, if you write a test case for it, and you run it to field report, so you're just testing the data that actually doesn't work, right? So how can we take the issue, you run a test case to the county, and of course, they now should succeed. If not, then either your test case was wrong, or your implementation of the drug case is wrong. And you need to figure out which one is wrong. And either it's just the code, or the test case. <coughs> And it's also important that if you have a good fit, run the rest of your test case as well. Run all your other test cases as well. Because there's no important that by fixing the time, you might be able to be covered, which the other test cases are already covered. So just learn a lot more, listen first, and set for some time back. <coughs> and, you can, and you can find all the cases with us. Also, 